Okay, y'all, what's up? So, finally cleared some space, so I got a, I got a little more space now. This one gonna be a long one. This gonna be a long, serious one, because we about to get into this whole Black Lives Matter thing. Um, And I'm gonna include a, a clip that was, again, on the Crazy Karen's 2 page. But I've stated in multiple videos my short opinions about the Black Lives Matter movement, the organization. Um, as y'all know, I, I speak about black lives. I talk about black lives. I wouldn't call myself an activist. I don't think that's, I think that's a heavy word because activists actually go out all the time and fight for black lives, like politically, verbally, protesting, all, like that's an activist to me. I don't think I'm an activist. I think I'm just more so of a fighter of black lives. Like, I verbally express my opinion on things. I verbally fight for black lives on my platforms that I have versus going out there and really doing work in the community on behalf of black lives and the fact that police are killing our black people, things like that. So I wouldn't say I'm an activist. Like, people make jokes like, I'll start a revolution, which I will. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Y'all know I'm quick to start a revolution. I just call people out on their shit, and I talk about the importance of black lives and i was like you know what i have been but it's been months that this has been on my mind to talk about the actual black lives matter movement and why i don't agree with it um and this is going to be very controversial so i'm gonna go ahead and give you a warning now i expect comments to be either way y'all know i don't give a shit <laughs> like y'all know I don't give a shit and it's so many different aspects of it like I low key might have to make this a two part video because it's so many different aspects to it like you got the Christian perspective you got the all lives matter and white people perspective you got the perspective on the actual organization like there's so many different things to touch on when it comes to these three words so I went back and forth about it. I'm like, do I really want to talk about it? Like, I always knew I wanted to talk about it, but I wanted to make sure when I did, I knew exactly what I wanted to say. And I still, you know, don't really know, but for the most part, I know. Um, and it's like everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I see stuff and I'm like, okay, that's fucking stupid. Like, I'll read a comment that I thought was fucking stupid. I don't have to agree with it. But it's your opinion at the end of the day. People don't have to agree with what I say, but it's their opinion. Like, this is my opinion. You got your opinion. Everybody got their own opinion. And I feel like people should be able to express their opinion, whether it's stupid or not. Like, if somebody jump in my comments and express their opinion, that's your opinion. Like, I might have a sarcastic response, but <laughs> that's still your opinion. You don't have to agree with me. If you don't agree with me, then you don't agree with me. But this was on the Crazy Karen's two-page this dude's weird as fuck. I'm not going to even lie. He confused the shit out of me. And, of course, he does the absolute most in the fucking video. But the point is, is what he said along with what the comments say. And this whole Black Lives Matter versus All Lives Matter. So, I'm going to play the clip. And then we're going to come back. So, y'all got to know I make sure I'm recording. Yeah, that little girlfriend, but she was trying. All lives matter, black lives don't matter. Brown lives matter. White lives matter. But black lives matter. It gets worse. See, that's what we're not going to do. He'd have me fucked up.
a black kid in Georgia. I'm not a racist motherfucker, and he got a black kid. I, I'm confused. I, his whole rant confused me. Like, I, I didn't understand the point of his rant. Um, and again, like I said, in one of the comments, I got to find it because now I didn't, I didn't exit out of it, which, which I didn't feel like was a, it was stupid. Like, it didn't, it didn't make the whole video. It's like he's saying all lives matter, white lives matter. What about brown lives? And he's like, black lives don't matter. Black black lives racist as fuck. But I got a black kid. Like the whole video is just contradicting in itself. Like I'm confused. So are are you for black lives or are you not for black lives? What are we doing here? And I think this is the issue with this black lives matter versus all lives matter thing. Black lives matter started the hashtag. Let's talk about the hashtag. The hashtag Black Lives Matter started because of Trayvon Martin. When Trayvon Martin was killed by George Zimmerman, got away with it. That's how Black Lives Matter started. It started as a hashtag. The trouble movement started as a hashtag and became an organization. So, yes, it started as a hashtag. Yes, it became an organization. But, like, with the trouble movement, I'm not saying that I only help trouble kids or trouble movement or trouble kids matter only. Like, we help all kids. It's a, it was a hashtag. So, I think what happened was people took Black Lives Matter and made it into something bigger than it was when they created the movement and the organization. The All Lives Matter shit, I can't get with. Because it wasn't until we start saying Black Lives Matter that people start saying Blue Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, blah, blah, blah. Yes, all lives do matter. But we're talking about Black Lives right now. We're not devaluing everybody else's life. We're just saying that Black Lives Matter. That's what we're saying. It's a hashtag. And people don't, what is a hashtag? Think about the hashtag and how it was created based on what happened to Trayvon Martin. We're not saying that because you're white, because you're Hispanic, because you're Asian, because you're Native American, that your life does not matter. Because you're a cop, that's not what we're saying. What we're saying is black lives matter. And we feel like they don't matter because they're so easily taken by police, by white people, by racist people. That's what we're saying. The hashtag, we making a statement when we say black lives matter. The statement, take your mind off of the movement and the organization for just a minute. We're talking about the statement of black lives mattering. Because in this country, it seems, it ain't no it seems, black lives don't matter. Racism exists. And white people kill me with this black people are racist. No, we not racist. Y'all discriminate against us. Y'all, y'all, see, <laughs> y'all have this level of privilege. Y'all want to be oppressed so fucking bad. You call us racist, not even realizing the history. Again, everybody want to talk about 400 years of slavery and all this. You're calling us racist when we're the minority. We're the ones who are getting gunned down. Because I guarantee you, as, we, as we've seen in many videos, a white person can do the same crazy shit as a black person. And a black person is the one that's going to end up dying while the white person barely get time in jail. Racism has been going on for how long? When I say racism, white people being racist towards minorities, black people, Hispanics, whatever. Look at the, that's how Karens came to exist. And this whole, don't even get me started on reverse racism. I'm not, that's a whole nother video in itself. So, <clears throat> to combat Black Lives Matter with All Lives Matter is stupid as fuck to me. Like, you're literally, you're making this about you. We're not, Black Lives Matter was not created so that we could say y'all don't matter. We're making a statement that we matter too. What about us though? We are the ones that are dying in the streets. What about us? 
That's what Black Lives Matter means. People are taking it so out of context. It's a hashtag. It's something that we're saying because of what happened to a little black boy and then continue to happen after that. So somebody posted in the comments. He's true though. Black Lives Matter is nothing but segregation. The most racist thing I've heard of. If some if somebody made a White Lives Matter or any other race alone, it would raise hell. Okay. Segregation? Did you really just use that word? Sir, I don't even know if this is a man or a woman or whatever. Segregation? Okay. We're not going to even go there. <laughs> like, we're not going to even, again, that's a whole nother video. Did you really just say segregation? Whatever. So if we come, if somebody or if white people say, well, white lives matter, it will raise hell. White lives have always mattered in this country. White lives you don't have to create a White Lives Matter hashtag because it's already known in this country White Lives Matter more than minorities. It wouldn't raise hell because that's what we go through every day. Because White Lives Matter every day. So no, it wouldn't raise hell. At the same time, wh white people are the ones that are saying all lives matter. It's some black people out there that agree with that shit and I, I, I can't get with it. Because you're taking away from the point that we are saying black lives matter because we are the ones that are dying on the streets. We are the ones that are unable to do the same shit that white people do. If we do that, we die. So there's no need to say white lives matter because they've, they've been mattering 400 years or since we got here they slavery going all the way back to history white lives have always mattered more than blacks or minorities period so it ain't no white lives matter y'all automatically matter because of what how y'all were born because y'all don't have this because of y'all skin color because of y'all genetics y'all automatically come in this world with privilege because you're born white you have privilege, but us that are born black with melanin or minorities, our lives are not as important as y'all. We don't have as much value as y'all do in so many aspects. When it comes to jobs, when it comes to education, when it comes to politics, I don't give a damn. We are not as important in this country as y'all are. That is why Black Lives Matter, the hashtag, the saying was created because we are trying to make a point that we matter too. Ain't no, it don't need to be white lives matter. Y'all matter automatically. When you born, you matter. So I can't get with the, the, the whole like all lives matter as a defense to Black Lives Matter. Am I saying uh, all lives matter regardless? Because then you also have the Christian aspect of it, where it's like, okay, we should treat everybody the same, treat your neighbor how you want to be treated. You have Christians who actually put their input in it and look at it from a biblical perspective, which, okay, yes, I am a Christian. I do believe that all lives matter. Again, as I've stated a million times, I have an adopted white father. So, yes, from a Christian perspective, I do believe all lives matter. For, but for the sake of my people, my culture my family, my ancestors, what I'm saying to you is that black lives matter because we are treated as if they don't. We are treated in this country as if we don't matter. We're the ones that are dying. We're the ones who are being killed and there's no justice. Because I'm if you kill a little black, if you kill a little white girl and you kill a little black boy you kill a little white girl, you're going to jail. You're going to jail off the rip. You're going to jail. You kill a little black boy, you get off with probation. Or if you're a cop, administrative leave. It's not equal. It never has been. Same thing when it comes to crime. A black person is going to get more time than a white person. I don't know why we acting like we don't know this. But again, we live in a racist country and shit like this happens. A white person will never understand what it's like to be black. Again, 
as my friend Natalie said, and as I said in a previous video, they want our rhythm, but they don't want our blues. If you're not black, you can't possibly understand what it's like to be black in America. I wish for 24 hours, yeah, 24 hours. I really want to say like a week. 24 hours, every white person in this country could be black. I want you to go through the same thing as, as black people. Like, put yourself in our shoes. Let's switch. So y'all can know what it feel like to watch your people die every day on the street. To watch your people deal with injustice and inequality. To be able to walk in somewhere, try to get a loan, try to get a bank account, try to get anything, and they tell you no because of the color of your skin. To go commit a crime and die because of it, even if it's pet, like I like stealing some chips out of a corner store, and you get killed for that. You get killed for for just being black. You get racially profiled because you drive a certain car, or because you live in a certain neighborhood. Somebody come knock on your door. Uh, what are you doing here? You don't live in this neighborhood. Why? Because I'm black. Y'all would never make it. You can't possibly make it being black in America. See, that's what white people don't understand. Nigga, you, you cannot make it. You can't walk a mile in our shoes. I can't. I, I, I can't. I, I really, I'm trying to can, and I just cannot understand. Again, the Black Lives Matter hashtag, I can fight for that all day. Now, as far as the actual movement and organization, do I agree with it? No. I don't agree with it. And there's multiple reasons why I don't agree with it. It's a, it's a nonprofit organization. It's an organization. It's so much controversy and, and different stories around the movement and the organization. Like, it's so much out there. That it's like you got, they stealing money. It's fraud. They not do. It's so many different stories that are out there over the Black Lives Matter movement in the organization. I'm gonna just say Black Lives Matter movement. And with that being said, I'm gonna make that another video. I know y'all was ready for me to get into it. <laughs> you was ready for me to get. You was ready for me to get into it, wasn't you? <laughs> yeah, but you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wait for the next video you're gonna have to wait for the part two where i really get into it and yes i'm still gonna be in the same outfit i'm finna record it right now but i'm gonna make you wait for it mm -hmm. i'm gonna make you wait for it yeah you gotta wait another 24 hours for you to see that but um to be continued make sure you like comment and subscribe and i i'll be back black lives matter